Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at graphing an increase or decrease in supply and what it should look like. So very quickly I'm going to start off with the decrease in supply, highlight my red pen and the first thing I need to do, label my axes, price and quantity. After that I'm going to switch over to my yellow and highlight my original supply curve labeled S. Now a decrease in supply can happen as a result of an increase in the cost of production. Uh, we covered why that could happen in another video or if there's a decrease in the number of sellers. Whenever we shift for decrease, let me switch to blue, we're gonna go from S to S1. You can use S1 to S2, as long as the second supply curve is labeled in uh, sequence. And one key thing I would add that I encourage all of my students to do is to make sure this arrow is there indicating the direction of the shift. That's vital because you may label your initial curve S1 and the second one S somehow by accident, but that arrow eliminates all doubt. All right, now let's take a look at an increase in supply on this side. So we have price and quantity, again, that's labeled immediately and first. Uh, then we label our first supply curve S. We shift to the right to S1, and we include a direction arrow to inform whoever is looking at this that this is the direction we intended, whether we wrote S1, S2, or whatever order we wrote. A increase in supply is going to happen as a result of a decrease in the cost of production or an increase in the number of sellers. So these are pretty basic graphs, uh, just to make sure you understand why you might want to go back and watch the changes in supply video. Uh, but again, I've gone through this kind of quickly but the basics are the same. You want to make sure that you're following this kind of system whenever you're graphing uh, supply shifts or even demand shifts, which we can take a look at later. In another video, I'm going to show you the difference between an extension or contraction in supply and how that looks and how you should graph it. But for now, I wanted you to understand this. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Send me an email at enhancedtuition at gmail.com or follow me at, on Twitter at enhancedtuition. Again, if I, I hope you guys have found this helpful. Subscribe below to the channel. Uh, get in touch with me. Let me know how this is helping you, if this is helping you, or if there's something else I could be working on to help you work through uh, AS economics.